next week on the show, I'm going to show off well, three areas of Media Center. First off, I'm going to show you the Media Center backup tool that I've been developing and talked about on the show, MC Backup 2.0. I'm going to show you how you can use that to backup Media Center and then restore settings, and I'll show you how the restore works. I'm going to have a look at big screen headlines from Nal Ginsburg, and which is his RSS reader written in Media Center markup language, so some of the nice features on that. And then we'll have a look at some of the music functions built into Windows Media Center on Vista. So first let's have a look at Media Center Backup. I've already installed it, there's a simple installer and uh, let's go and have a look at that now. Okay, the program by default backs up your Media Center settings and um, the main purpose of the application it backs up your series recordings. So if you've done lots of series recordings and then you build a new me Media Center PC you don't want to then have to then go and bring those back in again every go through all your different recordings and set those MC back will actually bring those back in uh, plus in addition to that you can also back up recorded TV folder and an extra folder by default it picks up on your my documents which is a network share um, in case of my machine um, but it could be your local machine and you can set those and save the changes as well um, same with the recorded TV it, uh, checks for Media Center what the where the recorded TV is located and points to that but you can then change that if you like. You can do a backup uh, restore now so you can pick what you want it to back up and then uh, just do backup now. So I'm going to do that. Okay that's the backup complete. So that was just of the um, settings. If I wanted to backup recorded TV as well I just tick that box and the backup record TV actually checks to see it files that are already existed and whether they've changed or not so if you set it to backup every day it will only backup things you recorded since the last backup. You can schedule these and this was a bit of a challenge to get working under Vista. It's got its own scheduling program which runs as a service and Vista's new security model makes it a lot harder to to, to apply service changes and things like that. So you can see here I've got it set to backup every day at, at 2 a.m. And there's also a nice little handy th thing here, uh, which is really why I'm developing it, is to, to check the uh, status of the services. So you can see here that the, um, the backup services run, and these are some of the uh, media center services. So just to quickly check to see whether everything's running okay, and you can start and restop them from here as well if you've got the, the rights to do that. Okay, so I've done a backup, so now I'm going to go into media center have a look at my my series records so let's say uh, I go to look at series so I've got three series set to record now let's say a British comedy classic does the army I'm not gonna I'm gonna cancel that series records okay so I've now got two series set to record right let's say for whatever reason you've had a problem with media center you need to restore your settings so I can go to restore now now when you do a restore it needs to restart one of the media center services which it's not able to do if you run on the, in the standard user mode um, so if I show you now I'll say ok See, it was unable to restart the services because it hasn't got access to restart those. If I was running as administrator, then it would restart the service itself. So I can reboot now, and the settings will change, and the restore will be complete. So I'm going to reboot now. So back from a reboot, and if you see now in series recordings, the program has been restored and you can use this to migrate from one machine to another to bring the settings over like I said just to restore if you if you've lost some settings now when you one of the things I wanted to show was the scheduling program now I've just loaded up Media Center backup as an administrator using the 
run as administrator. So if I go to schedule this and I'm going to set it for 2am and apply that. See, it's uh, changed the time. In this case, I've, well, I've left it the same. So let's, do it. So let's change the time to 3am. Apply that. So it stops the backup service, applies the changes, restarts the backup services. Nice and, and simple. Now this is how it works on XP and Vista if you're an admin. If you're not an administrator, then there is um, a workaround which I've got, which can still apply the changes and save you having to reboot. So let's change that back to 2 a.m. Apply, and then it uses an external control program which prompts the authorization to stop and restart the service. So that way you don't have to be an administrator to restart the the services. So that's Media Center Backup, MCE Backup 2.0. There is a command line version available and I hopefully have a 10 foot available soon. Right. Let's have a look now at big screen headlines. Now, big screen headlines is a really nice application uh, which is a RSS reader for Media Center written in Media Center markup language. So let's have a look. You've got your favorites, subscribed, this uses your i7 subscribes, feeds that you've brought, you've um, imported in, and uh, some preset feeds. So let's have a look at subscribed. So here you can see my uh, RSS feeds which I brought in from uh, IE7. So let's go through the media center feeds and let's have a look at the media center show. So here you can see the latest show. It's got the little music symbol on there to show that there's audio on it and I can actually play the audio or I can see the details of it. So straight away you've got a nice uh, a great UI, great on the, the 10 foot experience run on a nice wide screen. You can really see how you can read the headlines on there. And you can see that it formats nicely for the 10-foot interface. There's also some presets in there. So let's have a look at some preset feeds. Let's have a look at the BBC News. I've got all the news headlines and I can uh, view those again at the 10 foot interface very nice very clean and then great transitions as well really making use of the media center markup language and one nice little extra I was going to show you on here in the about is the online showcase where this is actually getting the media center markup language directly from the website rather than being on the local machine so this is your true sort of online application but instead of using HTML, it's using Media Center markup language, so you get the benefits of the rich UI. So these animations and the, the whole site is being brought down over the internet. So you can see the kind of application you're going to be able to get over the internet. So no, nothing installed locally to do this. So it's pretty good. Hopefully, we'll see more of that uh, when Vista launches. Uh, at the end of January and we'll actually see some online spotlight applications done this way.